if you're plugging in a drive and getting uh, an error or if you're unable to see it show up in the file manager like this chances are uh, it's got some sort of file system problems or it hasn't been installed with the file system yet and then if you would try to run it on check disk you would get an error saying check disk is not available for drives. so how do we fix it uh, the answer is actually quite simple. You press Windows key plus X to open up uh, the quick access menu and then go ahead and click on terminal admin. You give it the permissions that it needs and here we are. Uh, this is uh, PowerShell, but it also works in the command prompt. So what we're going to do is that we're going to use a, a tool called disk part. So let's go ahead and type in disk part and press enter. This will fire up disk part and then we're going to type in list disk. Now this shows up all uh, the disks connected to our system at the moment and as you can see I have disk 0 which is my 1TB uh, hard drive and then I have disk 1 which is the 7.4 GB flash drive that I'm running into problems with. So I'm going to go ahead and type in select disk and then the number of the disk so select disk 1 and now you're going to type in clean. Now before you run this command what you need to understand is that if your file system has gone to raw because of a corruption or anything else the data on your drive is as good as gone you're going to have to use external programs like recuva disk drill or Ezus uh, data recovery partition uh, data recovery wizard for you to be able to extract the data out of the drive or try and carry out repairs to the file system but if you just want to stick with the windows tools you know, the best way of recovering that drive is to just simply erase all data on it create a new partition uh, a, a new uh, file system and then get the drive running so before you run this command if you have any important data on those files you are going to have to extract it uh, on your own with uh, the tools that i mentioned or with any other tool if you so prefer so we're going to go ahead and press enter. So disk part will run and now it has succeeded in cleaning the disk. So now our disk has sort of been formatted and all data has been erased. So we're going to go ahead and create a primary partition. So create partition primary. Go ahead and press enter. Then we're going to type in active to mark this partition as active. And in the last step, we're going to format it with an NTFS file system. So type in format FS NTFS quick. All of these commands will be in the description below so that you can easily refer to them when you're following through. Go ahead, press enter, sit back and relax. This process can take uh, a couple of minutes to finish running. But once it's done, like it is right now, your drive should show up here without any issues. So as you can see, this is a completely new drive. The name has been changed and uh, this is all the data that it has, which is absolutely nothing because it's just been formatted. So yeah, that's how you can fix the check disk is not available for raw drives error on Windows 11. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media and if these videos don't help you out as much, do consider getting a membership. That's it for today. We'll see you in the next video.